Yusu, uh, all the way from Oyo State, and then of course, next to him is uh, the Deputy President and Minister. The leadership of the Muslim Congress has congratulated the President-elect of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Bola Ahmed Tunubu, on his victory at the last general elections. At its 23rd quarterly media briefing held at its headquarters in Lagos on Saturday, April 8, 2023, the group celebrated the President-elect, congratulated Muslims and raised concern over crises befalling the country, such as the attack on Muslims in national states while also condemning the ethno-religious politics currently displayed by stakeholders in the country. Uh, this is series 23 of State of the Nation Address uh, by the TMC Committee on Social Mobility. Speaking at the event, the President of the Muslim Congress, Banbala Taiwo Abduwasu, represented by the Secretary General al Aji Azan Taiwo Adishina, explained that the rationale behind the media interaction is to address challenges facing the country and give possible solutions to mitigate the crisis. In state the Muslim Umar in Nigeria and Muslims all over the world, on 1444 Ramadan that is already in its second half. The unprovoked and barbaric attack by the Oro worshippers on innocent Muslims at Idiomo Mosque in Ilefe, Oshun State, on the 30th March 2023, is indeed a sad and unfortunate development. We will ensure through legal and lawful means that the perpetrators of this heinous acts will be punished by law. We congratulate Ashwajibala Ahmed Tinubu, the President-elect of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, and his Vice-President-elect, Kashim Shetima, on this hard-fought and well-deserved victory at the presidential poll of February 25, 2023. We call on Nigerians from all walks of life, irrespective of partisan affiliations, to join hands with the incoming administration to build a stronger and more resilient nation where we can better define our destiny collectively as a people. We therefore want our politicians to desist from religious and ethnic politics because it negates the peace and unity that Nigerians so much desire. Reacting to the lingering problems in the country, the Deputy President Dawa Affairs, Imam Sheridan Ibrahim, called on the government to take responsibility and ensure that any aid of government agency that brings untold suffering to Nigerians should face the wrath of the law. Attack on uh, Muslims at um, Ilefe, specifically the uh, mosque there, actually is um, one issue too many. Um, this is not the first time we are having such. I think the way forward is what is very important. The way forward is um, the leadership needs to take responsibility in this issue. There must be a policy that every member of the community needs to respect. That should be relaunched in this case and um, more importantly to mitigate against creating religious crises in the public. In his remarks, the administration vice president, al Aji Mikhail Animashan, appeal to politicians not to take advantage of the country's rich ethno and religious diversity to turn Nigerians against each other on the basis of political issues. So what they should do is anybody who has been found guilty or anybody who, is, who has gone into that, uh, you know, the, that aspect, the person should be completely suspended. Either the party should be you know, uh, disbanded or that candidate should be stepped down from that race. So if that stern warning or that consequences is there, then nobody will ever want to go near that. So I think if we approach it from the angle of closing the gaps, you know, in our laws, in our electoral laws, it will, you know, go a long way to do that. So the, the NOA should also ensure that reorientation is done right from the grassroots. First of all, be truthful. Let us know what exactly is happening. Then, of course, there has to be monitoring. If you appoint somebody, you have to monitor. Is he doing the work? If it's NMPC uh, head that is not doing what he's supposed to do, you need to sanction the person. At least, the, we have, apart from the executive, we have the legislator too. They have, each of them, they have a monitoring unit, committees, and they are responsible primarily to ensure that things work. So if you are not seeing results, it means they are not doing their work. So that's it. And you must get feedback from them. The Muslim Congress commended the efforts of the Nigerian Armed Forces for the sacrifice to decimate Boko Haram and Iswab.
They urge the federal government to provide modern and effective arms to boost the operational capacity of the armed forces. Uh, all the way from Oyo State, and then of course, 